What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Sore Thing TV Ansome, and I'm very sore. Uh, sorry I didn't shoot a video yesterday. Uh, the reason behind me not shooting a video yesterday was because I was extremely, extremely, extremely burnt out from dieting to working out. Um, but let me recap. Right now we're on day. I'm on day six, but I'm. This is a day four, day five update since I didn't upload a video yesterday. So this is my day four, day five update combined video. Day four um, pretty much consisted of the same exact dieting, uh, spinach salad, um, you know, and chicken and rice that day. But that's what I had on day four. I, you know, was eating consistently, and that's the most important thing that I feel has been. Oh, sorry about that. Go get it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Huh. That's been like the most consistent thing I feel is is the eating right and um, the water. I feel I feel a lot lighter. I feel a, lot, a little, little bit stronger since I've been eating right. And I can honestly say that I do feel lighter. Now, if that reflects on the scale, I'm not sure. I will be weighing myself in every Sunday. It's going to be a weekly, weekly update. So, but I mean, I do feel a lot lighter and a lot cleaner. I haven't really had, I know, I know I'm going too much into detail, but I haven't really had much uh, headaches, any gas, any like, you know, unscured bowel movements, you know, or anything like that. You know, you guys know what I mean, I just want to say it, but um, I've been feeling really good. Um, heartburn has been another thing that's like completely been eradicated. I don't have any heartburn. Like I normally would have heartburn a lot. Um, but day four was really clean eating, same thing, I mean, I'm, I'm sticking to it, you know, I haven't had a piece of candy, soda, chocolate, nothing, um, no fast food, nothing, just everything has been home cooked. A uh, big difference I did on day four was I, I don't know if you guys, uh, have seen it or not, probably some of you have, but I, um, I did a treadmill workout, I introduced some cardio into my workout, and I live streamed it. I'll leave that video in the description for you guys so you can go check it out. But I live streamed it and it was um, it was really interesting. It was good. It was my first time actually for some time doing some actual cardio. And I really, really went really, really hard. Uh, I went for about two hours. I did four miles on the treadmill and I burned about a thousand plus calories. And it was it was insane like literally five minutes before the two hours were up I I like got a really worse cramp in my calf where my calf turned into a rock and I actually had to get off the treadmill and I was five minutes short of my two hours on the treadmill but I ended up getting back on the treadmill after stretching my calf and finished off the five minutes strong and also I do want to give some shout outs to uh, DJ over or uh, DJ over at Blast Nameless YouTube channel and Switch, who and his wife Meg and a whole bunch of other people that were there in that stream, that really kept me motivated, that really pushed me, uh, that really, 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 really gave me the power I needed essentially to finish that. And I just want to really say thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. You know, without you guys, I don't know if I can go through this journey. You know. Uh, it does make a difference to have help. It, re it really does make a huge difference to have help. You know what I mean? And those you know, those people really are helping me um, and supporting me, which is amazing. So thank you guys for that and everyone else who was in the stream. Also, um, I do want to say thanks to all the people who have been coming out, you know, leaving the comments in my comment sections. I read all the comments about, you know, um, you guys are going through the same journey and you want to see me keep going and you know i'm here for you guys as well so if you guys have any questions message me on discord the link is in the description my handle is everything tv handsome and we're here for you so that's how i ended up day four it was two hours in the treadmill and it was amazing it was such a big accomplishment for me um i was so happy with it and the fact that i did it really it was tough it was very very tough but the fact that i did it i was very very pleased with and um i'm happy with that also, um, I couldn't sleep well that night because my ankle was just like, it was like throbbing, you know what I mean? It was like throbbing, so I had trouble sleeping that night. I finally fell asleep at about 2 o'clock in the morning, um, and then day 5. Oh, let me get on about day 5. Day 5, which is the next day after the 2-hour workout. I was extremely 
extremely sore. And when I say sore, I mean like, I'm still sore now, this is day six. But I woke up day five after the first workout. And this is something that you guys can expect after when you're starting this journey is, you know, the soreness. I will sore, I'm sore in my legs, my calves, my hamstring, my glutes, my legs, my chest even. I don't know how that happened, but my chest is sore. My arms are sore. I mean, I'm as stiff as can be. And it was killer day five. Um, but, you know, with that comes feeling really good. I mean, I felt, I feel great even now, you know, as far as after an intense workout like that. Now, I probably overdid it, and I wouldn't recommend most of you guys to overdo it. You know what your body, where your body can be pushed and where your body can't. I know where my body can be pushed. I know how much I can push my body. Uh, it's not recommended for everybody just to go out there on our first day and do two hours. Not everybody can do that. Set your own personal goal. I know how far I can push my body. There's a really big difference there. I know I can push my body to its max. I, I've done it before. Um, not a good idea to do it, but the way I look at a workout, right, is do it to your max abilities. Do it till you can't do it no more. So if you only can do 20 minutes on a treadmill and you feel like you're going to die and you're like, oh, go five minutes more and then stop. You see what I'm saying? Over, over exceed your expectations. That's, that's the way I look at it. Um, but don't, you know, you don't have to go hard. You know, I went hard because I'm, I'm, I'm a very arrogant person and I know I can, I know where I can push my body. You know what I mean? I know where I can push my body and I'm paying for it, but I feel great. You know, day five, I had me, uh, I had me these kind bars, which I'll link in the description, but they're very, very good kind. They're called kind bars, and you can get them in all peanut butter, like chocolate, and it's really, really good. Like maybe 200 calories per box, and it's full of packed with protein, like eight grams of protein in a bar. And I've been eating those for breakfast to kind of substitute a large meal, and you know, mixing that up with eggs. Like, you know, because you want to eat small, but you want to snack. And they're also great snacks you can have, like, between lunch and dinner. Uh, then we had, um, yesterday was an interesting day. For the first time in a long time, I actually had salmon. Very, very, very yummy salmon. It was really, really good. I fried it with an olive oil. And I know fried food is not the greatest, but it's not too bad if you use light fried oil, like the olive oil. And olive oil is way, way better than, you know, any other oil as well. You know, um, I believe, what is it? I, I don't know the other names of the oil. I really don't. But I know olive oil is way better than any other oil you can use. What are, what are some other oils? Now that you actually think about it. I don't know. But I think one's like Crisco oil, um, canola oil, peanut oil, like stuff like that. Try to stay away from that. And if you do use light moderations of it, like I pretty much just use it so I can pan sear the salmon which was amazing we had salmon and spinach salad with some lemon zest over the, sal uh, the salmon oh my god it was a die for it was amazing and i felt that food going in my body it's a really good feeling when you can feel the food going into your body as opposed to like you eating and just being full because you're already full so that that was a that was a great feeling um being able to 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 you know feel that you know so that's what we had for lunch and dinner was kind of the same uh for dinner yesterday uh i had the salmon because i had leftover salmon we had salmon with asparagus of uh, a pan seared asparagus which was amazing and that's all i had um that meal in itself those meals probably were five to eight hundred calories each if not less maybe um probably a little bit higher you know just just depending i'm not really tr checking but it's all healthy food it's food that i can eat and consume and get my energy out of and keep moving forward so day five was 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 tough because i was very very sore i didn't get to post a video you know like i, I didn't take naps or fall asleep i was just very very relaxed and trying to recover recovery is very very important um if you if you're gonna work out and adding this to your to, to from your dieting because remember i'm just dieting now, when you add workouts or, or, or cardio, plyometrics, weight training, 
you need that recovery. You really do. As long as you, on that day off, you're maintaining your diet, you'll be okay. You really will. But you need to get, you don't want to burn yourself out too short. You know, you don't want to like go every day. You know, like I, I was over buried when I like, I'm going to run on the treadmill every day, every day. I could have done it, but I, I was so burnt out. I really was. I just relaxed, took a break, chilled, hung out, and that was it. That was my day five and day four. But, you know, it, it's been tough, but I feel good. That's the biggest thing. I'm feeling good. I haven't checked my weight. When we did start, we were 289.9, so essentially 290 pounds. And I will check my weight Sunday, and we'll do that every Sunday. And then I'll make a collage of all my weight checks and all that stuff, and make a video collage about it. That way we can upload at the end. Because obviously I'm hoping there's going to be some change, right? That's the whole point. Change is going to be coming. So if you guys are out there, make sure you keep going, keep setting your goals, keep trying to hit them. Don't give up. Stop the fast food. Don't eat the candy. Don't drink the soda. Cut back on the coffee. Cut back on the smoking. This is your chance to make changes that you. You, you, you want to you may want to change you know if you're a smoker you can quit if you're a fast food eater you can quit if you're a candy junkie you can quit because i'm doing it i'm a huge guy look at me i'm huge i'm freaking huge and i'm resisting that i'm resisting that and i got a house full of kids who are eating candy and, and drinks and soda and, and i'm resisting it so you know even if you're starting your day one you, you, first couple of weeks is going to be hard first couple of weeks are going to be hard but you can do it, and we're here for you. So that's my day four, day five. Uh, day six will be up tomorrow. If you guys can, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, guys, stay healthy, stay positive, and kick that fat, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Wait, you actually have to wait because last time you cut me off. Peace. See you later.